the Packers stood pat at the trade deadline, much to the chagrin of their fans who wanted some action. However, it wasn't for a lack of trying. Sources say Green Bay made a strong run at Raiders star tight end Darren Waller, attempting to acquire the dynamic offensive weapon at the deadline. For Las Vegas, Waller was deemed too valuable to deal, especially because they just signed him to a three-year, $51 million extension on September 10. The Raiders are 2-5, but have plenty left to play for as they head into their Week 9 matchup against the Jaguars. Now, Waller will be among the players tasked with helping turn this season around. That was not the only big-time star the Packers were in on, as they also offered a second-round pick to the Steelers to attempt to pry Chase Claypool from them, sources say. Pittsburgh chose the second-rounder from the Bears instead, believing it would be an earlier pick. The Packers also called on Panthers' WRD. Jay Moore, sources say, but it was a non-starter for a Carolina team that wanted to keep its young core together. That led Green Bay standing pat, making no moves at the deadline while the Vikings and Bears both did, and the Lions were sellers. Coach Matt Loeffler was asked this week if he addressed the lack of activity with his team. We didn't even get into that, he told reporters on Wednesday. Our focus was on Detroit. This was the second time Green Bay had made a run at Waller, with the first time coming in the offseason, according to sources with knowledge of the talks. They had discussions about him while the two organizations were in talks on the deal that eventually landed Las Vegas star receiver Devontae Adams. The compensation for whatever players we were going after just didn't make sense, Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers told reporters on Wednesday. So I trust, Packers GM. Brian, gut against. We had some good conversations. We were in on some things. It just didn't pan out. 